Hello everybody, how you doing today? Uh, so today I'm going to show you uh, using the uh, Ryzen 5 3500U uh, from Huawei MateBook D as you can see this is a 2020 version so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play PlayStation 3 okay this is the PlayStation 3 emulator and uh, I'm gonna use Demon Souls shout out to you know Demon Souls uh, fans you know I'm a big fan of Demon Souls they just announced the PlayStation 5 remake cannot wait so we have the Demon Souls here and we're gonna test this laptop if it's actually capable to play this game uh, with such certain uh, spec here so first off I'll show you the uh, the custom configuration for the for the game itself so let's take a look I'm gonna show you here so this is the CPU it's simply it's the same thing as you can see and then, as you can see I did two check mark here to enable SPU loop uh, detection and SPU catch so keep these two on uh, put it at preferred uh, CPU uh, uh, SPU threads I did I made I put it as four people prefer to put it at as two I, I just put it at four so and here you click on save this is for the CPU for the GPU as you can see I chose Vulkan Vulkan emulator because it's an AMD it can recognize the AMD uh, GPU here and everything else as you can see set up as disabled auto so just follow these screen as you can see make sure you click on uh, right color buffer so and everything else is off and uh, yeah just click apply and then close and start the game Okay, so just give me a second. Make sure the battery is full. Yeah, there you go. So you're gonna see this uh, scrolling information here. That means it's loading. Here, as you can see, uh, it's gonna take some time, but so far, it's gonna. What's it? Once actually loading first time, the second, the third time is gonna be faster because it's just you know loading time and it's all that stuff first time recognizing the game as you know the software once it started I'll tell you a hint okay so once it started let me see is the d-pad working this is I'm linking the PlayStation 4 d-pad let me just double check DualShock 4 I'm gonna go here hopefully it's gonna work sometimes uh, it's just disconnects no not connected right you press this scrolling then you can see wireless controller recognize here okay so let's just minimize here maximize the screen and just wait a little bit for it to uh, finish here then the game is gonna start just make sure that you are actually on uh, excellent performance okay make sure you turn off everything on the uh, tab so it doesn't load anything extra or anything that is unneeded okay here as you can see it's loading you double click to get a full screen now a hint is is that it's actually full screen I didn't connect I need to go back and do it but so far I think the keyboard is working nope not the keyboard and the mouse so I need to go back just give me a second go to the controller sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so go back to the controller control section pad You can see here it is connected and the battery at 70%. I can show you the battery status, which is actually very neat. Okay, save. And then let's try now. Yeah, it's working now. Great. 
So let's uh, go back. You wait for the f uh, start screen. I'm gonna show you that this game is work at this such. It, the, you know, the graphic is uh, Vega 8, guys. So Vega 8 is the graphic card here. There you might wonder, but that's uh, that's almost as good as the MX150. Load game. Okay. Okay. So the Nexus. Uh, so guys. PlayStation 3 and a portable laptop. There you go. Works really smooth. No issues at all. So, you wonder what's uh, the FPS here? It's ranging between 30, per uh, 30 FPS and 25 sometimes. It's not perfect. I know the patch there is a 60% or 60... What, what's up with this percentage thing? <laughs> uh, 60 FPS patch, but I don't believe it's gonna handle the 60 FPS. Don't bother with it. You need you need a greater, faster GPU and CPU. And, but so far, if you wanna play the game on 60... or oh, on, on 30 FPS, you will be able to do it here, as you can see. Now, just run. Can see how smooth it, this thing is working. No issues at all. So yeah, can you play Dark Souls or Demon Souls on a small portable laptop? Yes. It's not heat. There's no heat at all. Let me just show you another thing. By the way, this is, I think this is very important for you. Let's see how much CPU you are consuming right now while the game is running. Right. Here, you can see the CPU usage. Let me just try to get, give you a better look. It consumes around 60% uh, to 70% of the CPU, sometimes 75, it, but it doesn't get you to 100% uh, CPU cons consumption. That's for sure. So you're probably gonna have some tabs on the background working, maybe one or two. But uh, not much, you know, just make sure that is, you don't open a lot of tabs. But as you can see, 60 to 70 sometimes, it depends on the game itself or the area that you're playing with. But so far, so good. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, like, subscribe. You need me to do more videos testing on the uh, Ryzen laptop. I mean, do you serious? Let me know in the comment section below. See you guys later.